Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. And welcome back to another instalment of the top 10 greatest New Zealand All Blacks of all time video series. This video series is a bit of a passion project for me. It coincides with the 2019 Rugby World Cup, uh, which starts tomorrow, believe it or not. Today's video we're focusing on a player that I didn't get the pleasure of, of seeing play a, a hell of a lot. I was born in 1990. Uh, this man began his All Blacks career in, in uh, 1987 and uh, ended it 10 years later in 1997. So I do recall one particular moment uh, from, from this man's career, Zinzan Brook, and it was in the 1995 World Cup and he hit a 48 meter drop goal as a forward. Now if you're talking about American football standards. This is a lineman hitting a 53 yard field goal. Drop goal, not a field goal, a drop goal. He had the skills, the speed of a back, but he had the strength, the power, and the grit of a forward. And that made him one of the greatest players of all time. Zinzan Brook, born Murray Zinzan Brook was born on Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 1965, in a place called Waiuku in New Zealand. He was listed as 1.9 meters tall, that's six foot three, 102 kilograms, which is 225 pounds, and he attended Mahurangi College. Zinzan Brook uh, has a brother who's almost just as famous, played in the All Blacks, but isn't a member of this top 10 list, and his name was Robin Brook. They were both absolute powerhouse forwards for the New Zealand All Blacks. Zinzan Brook played 58 tests for New Zealand within that 10 year period, but he also played another 42 international matches for the All Blacks that aren't actually counted towards caps, as they call them. Back in the day, 20 years ago, before the, the era of professional rugby came in, in 1995, with the inclusion of Super 12, uh, a professional tournament held between Australia, New Zealand and South African uh, teams. Before that, there were a, a lot of matches that weren't actually counted as tests, but they've, you know, they were still televised. And, and it turns out Zinzan Brook played 42 of those. Nowadays, basically every single match that an international team is going to play is, is counted as a test. Uh, you get a cap. Zinzan Brook has a total of, of 58 caps although he did play a hundred total games, which is no small feat. Within those 58 test matches, Zinzan Brook scored a record 17 tries. This was a record among forwards. As I mentioned before, Zinzan Brook had, had the skills of a back, but played in the forwards. So at the time, 17 tries as a forward was a huge amount. In 1997, Zinzan Brook retired from international rugby and headed over to England to continue his playing career, which he did. For a fair few years. One final fact I will throw at you is about the drop goals. In the modern game a forward just would never ever take a drop goal, it just doesn't happen. You pass it to your fly half, your number 10, who takes the drop goal. Possibly a fullback, definitely a person in the backs, not necessarily a forward. Zinzan Brook took that drop goal, that 48 meter drop goal, and it wasn't a fluke. He actually hit two more. His final one being in his final year of playing for the All Blacks at a stadium called Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium holds 90 to 100,000 people. At the time, in 1997, no one had scored a drop goal at that stadium. It was a soccer stadium. Now, 20 years on, there's been heaps of matches played at that place. But back then, that was one of the first. And Zinzan Brook hit a drop goal at Wembley and became the first ever rugby player to score a goal at Wembley. And that went down in history. Since then, I'm sure it's happened plenty of times. Don't quote me on that, but that is just a fun fact for you about the legend Zinzan Brook. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the best of Zinzan Brook. The video excerpts you see after this little piece from me uh, are actually from this DVD that I picked up not too long ago from a, a second hand store. I saw it, I watched it, it gave me goosebumps from the moment I put it on to the moment I left, and uh, I thought, you know what, 
my YouTube channel deserves to see this, especially for the fact that the World Cup literally starts tomorrow, the 2019 World Cup. So if you do hear references throughout this DVD, if you do hear references throughout this, this top 10 series about World Cups, the first inaugural Rugby World Cup was held in 1987. Uh, since then it's been held every four years. New Zealand have won the first in 1987. Then they had a massive gap of over 20 years to 2011 when they won it for a second time, 2015 when they won it for a third time, and now New Zealand will be going for a third World Cup in a row, which has never ever happened before. So without further ado, I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy Zinzan Brook. Zinzan Brook was so talented a ball player and had such great mobility and handling skills that many considered that he might have represented New Zealand in the back division. He's rightly considered to be one of the great all-time all-black number eights. Kirwan. Oh, he's crashed through on the very narrowest of gaps. And he's going to set it up for his comeback. And all-black teammate Zinzan. Zinzan from the try. And again, the New Zealand scrum confident enough to take on. Brooks scores. Good defensive work by the left winger, but it's still not safe for Newport. The ball bobbling around as Pierce comes on the charge. Zinzan Brook, yes, over the try. Bashup, switch to Little. Zinzan Brook, he's made it. And that was a brilliant try, it really was. Zinzan Brook, who came on as a replacement, scores his 16th try in an All Blacks jersey. And there we are, we're all square at 10 all. Just watch, it was a lovely scrummage ball. Bishop again on the lateral run. Now notice how little came in and see that little flick pass. It was perfect. And Zinzan broke strong and with a long reach, a good score. When he retired, Brook had played 58 tests for New Zealand and captained Auckland Blues to Super 12 Championships in 1996 and 1997. He also scored 17 tries in test matches, which was, at the time, a world record for a forward. Once again, John Mitchell drawing Brian Rennick, not even looking where he was passing, straight into Zinzan Brook. Good fend, just too strong, uh, and underneath the post. It was John Mitchell with the pickup again and now out to Ellis. Ellis, who's desperately quick and big. This is the replacement on the field. He's looking for the support coming up. Taken again by Zinzan Brook as he made it a third try. He has reached over and got a third score. You can see the brilliant support coming up on the inside there. He stops. That's awareness for you. Straight into Zinzan Brook, takes it one handed and just manages to stretch over for the try one handed again. And then the juggernaut comes in and lays it back and Preston goes once again, beautifully out to Howarth once more. Howarth chased by Parker, he's got Aroni Clark inside him. Clark gives it on to Zinzan Brook, his fourth try for the New Zealand skipper. Well, this, I reckon, is one of the most enterprising and one of the most skillful flank forwards in the, in the business, certainly that I've ever seen. Instinctive that was by the big flanker. Marshall once more, Zinzan Brook with the good goal attempt. And the arm is raised, and Zinzan Brook has scored his third drop goal for New Zealand in test. Cooper well held in midfield, so important that for Scotland that their midfield holds, but again a lovely ball from Forster to Ellis. Ellis with that lovely sidestep and that flaring pace of his. On there to Olo Brown, Olo Brown caught by Gavin Hastings, 10 metres out from the Scottish line, a great chance here as Fitzpatrick goes, still churning on to within one metre. Forster once more, Zinzan Brook. The referee was beautifully positioned. It's a third try for New Zealand. Zinzan Brook, seventh try in test matches for his country. He's thrilled. So are New Zealanders. And there's the feed out from Forster to Zinzan Brook. A lovely low drive. Look at the referee's positioning. Perfect. Still scrum to New Zealand. Again, it was a tight call from the referee there. 
could be an important one. Zindabruk is in! <laughs> Marshall orchestrating it once again. Threatening from the base, a double scissors little. And Zindabruk has just gone through Stransky like he wasn't there. So well in. And the Quins are within five metres and driving ever closer. It's the second try and it's come to Zinzanbrook and they're right back into the game. Very similar to the first, it came quicker from the line-out possession and Zinzanbrook has brought the Harlequins back within four points. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who you kidding, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah.